Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fun 4, Kaiser Rings Ukraine, let us continue on from my last left off. So, uh, we're, really, what we're doing right now is we are just trying to micromanage our armies, especially the ones over here in the, uh, the south, to not get killed. Because, like, if you're, like, in this province, you're getting attacked by, like, three different angles, which sucks. It's really bad. Now, again, we are holding the river, which is nice, but, like, if, hypothetically speaking, Belarus collapse, this whole area is exposed, we just die. If Romania joins the war, hypothetically, I don't know if they actually can if, when they lose the, the uh, Balkan War, but let's say if they can, this whole area is exposed and we die. Now, important to note, Austria is not in the war yet. They will join eventually, they'll join the Reichspact, but I don't know what the actual conditions are. Because it used to be like if they bordered the, the if they bordered the Moscow Accord or if I think the International owns Upper Bavaria. Those used to be like the two main triggers. I think they've changed a little bit since uh, since then. Maybe it's also like surrender percentage for Germany. But um, either way, I would love if Austria would join the war. You know how nice that would be for me if we had a uh, a lovely ally here. We actually have purple. We actually have these guys overlapping. In three different spots. So let's actually maybe move you a little bit like so. 20, 47, 42, 43, 53. I mean, again, the numbers are good. The federal government has collapsed. I mean, it is 1941. So maybe I shouldn't be like too concerned about the American Civil War for the obvious reason that at this point, they're probably not going to do too much. Do I just bring Yellow Army out of Crimea? And, and get them to Odessa and just have them join, let's say, Teal Army. Uh, the thing is, are they more important to have them here or still down in Crimea trying to hold on for as long as possible? Minsk has collapsed. Okay, so I mean, that's not good. <laughs> uh, Belarus, White Ruthenia, I need you to not die, okay? Did I fit 29%? Because again, if you are dead, I mean, Germany's here as well. Um,. I'm guessing because Lithuania, because again, Lithuania did rebel. So, the thing is, Lithuania is not even in the Russian faction. Lithuania decided to do their own thing. Um, it's going badly for them, which I'm happy about, but... I'm sure if Germany kills Lithuania, I think Germany is just going to retreat back to the uh, to the commune of France because of the decision we took earlier. Okay, we need you to fall back. Please and thank you. Like, so we're going to have you kind of do... Delete this. Yellow army is going to shrink to... Shrink to here. Have you fall. Have you go here. See, that's this is the wrong way to retreat. Okay? Okay. Proof military equipment's been done. Let's go for... Uh, what, what gives us a better defense? 1942, uh, yeah, done. Bismarck C, don't care, don't care, don't. I mean, this I do care about, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Now, Crimea does have a level 2 fort. Or Sevastopol has a, uh, a level 2 fort. But we are going to be taking an encirclement penalty there as well. So I think we just leave. Like, they've done what they can. They held, I mean, how? What, what, when did the um, war actually begin? Um, Second Vale Creek, September. So they held on to it for like six months, five, five, six months. You know, they, they've they've done the best that they can. We, I don't want you to die, right? Like that's kind of my main thing. They're retreating out. You guys, I also want you to get out of Odessa. That's really... We, we might lose one yellow infantry division. That's okay. It also allows us to put um, Teal into the main field marshal, who's currently at 4333. And what's he... I mean, he's got better. Winter specialist, organization first, defense doctrine. He's got some good stuff there as well, which is nice to see. Okay, reinforcements are here. 40, 89. I mean, we're, we're doing... The thing is, I don't want to say we're doing well. We're doing the best we can. I want you to go to Teal for the moment. 
Don't worry about supporting the tank divisions. Our best chance probably was when uh, this supply line was not connected to the rest of Russia. To try to do like some sort of counterattack. But again, it's important to note that Russia does not have any armor, right? None. They don't produce tanks in Russia. It's, it's a full, full infantry, a World War I um, strategy they've got going on there. Again, like, our tanks are not doing that well. Uh, we can take one off medium tanks for sure. Um, improve A. I mean, I'm thinking we didn't even use the improved A guns for anything. Just get this off the uh, list. Do we even want convoys? Delete convoys here. Start slowly producing submarines. Not that they're going to really be super effective. Do we even need the trucks right now? No, we have 1,800 trucks. We don't need these trucks right now. Inner war light tanks, don't even worry about them. If the, if the light tanks get killed off, then, then so be it. We do want the mediums. But I instead of the planes, actually, I want more on these bad boys. We just need more guns. 50, 55 guns a day. Those are decent. How long would this take? Like, theoretically, it'd be 167 days if we took no more casualties. Which I know is kind of a big ask. Yeah, and then all of you guys are going to join Teal. Teal is then going to um, join this field marshal. Yes, and make your way to the new front line. I appreciate all that you guys have done. Uh, does it actually say, do they have their stats over here at all? Experience is regular. History. Has you taken 6,027? I wish I would tell you how many uh, they, they've killed, but... I understand that might be a little difficult to program. And how are you guys slowly coming around? I mean, we've lost more factories in uh, Crimea, so it's understandable why this is even worse now. I wish I could cancel this. I kind of wish I had my uh, my two factories back. Do you cause any factories? You just have any political power? What we need is we need a new general. Army recruitment. No, I need, like, who would be good? Maybe supply consumption minus 4%? Maybe? Or an armor specialist? Just, just knowing that we really can't not... We can't afford um, anyone... I mean, we also... We actually extend the conscription. That's actually what you want. National um, opposition. We're actually losing manpower. Even if we didn't take any actual casualties in combat, we would still, we would still be losing manpower. Enemy bombing weekly point oh two. Now the combat casualties, because we do have the um, the one advisor that gives us the plus point three, I believe. For weekly combat casualties are not that bad. Yeah, Atlanta over here. So we're losing um, war support a lot slower than you otherwise normally would. I need you guys to redeploy the front lines as quickly as you possibly can. Thank you very much. I need you here. <laughs> more, more so than anything. Somehow Lithuania is not dead. Germany is trying to do their best. Like, can you just take Vilnius? Can you just kill the Lithuanians? Instead of doing whatever the hell it is you're actually currently doing. Portugal might collapse soon. I, I wish I could see this front line, but again, we don't really have any um, vision of the uh, of the Entente. So we'll just never quite know. Hey, look at that, though. We're, we're now in a positive win ratio. I'm happy to see that. Now, we are a quarter million dead. I when we were, like, we pushed, like, one province towards Rostov. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Three pieces. I mean, they are... I don't know. Because, again, Russia has so many factories. They have so much manpower. That I feel like we can't even bleed the Russians dry. Like, the best we could hope for is maybe reducing our war support to some amount. But, like, I can't imagine. Like, they're doing the Great Patriotic War. Plus 25%. How are we going to overcome that? We really, really... Like, do we have any modifiers like that? Land reform, not one step back. It's like, kind of.
And this actually, I think, will go away in three months. Which is also bad. Also really not what we want to see. Okay, research done. Um, let's go for 1941 uh, assembly line production. I really hate if they if the enemy didn't have any planes, like that would be so good. Now here's the thing: I don't know how much oil. Do we have any idea how much oil they have? Supply film at one hundred percent. Available fuel, probably seven hundred thousand, which is a lot. So I don't think they're gonna run out of fuel anytime soon. Germany's at 146, France at about like 90,000. Because Russia, I mean, they are like a natural oil producer. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. Zoom in. Zoom in here. We need to do another last stand. Get our reinforcements down here ASAP. And what's, what's gun production at? Negative, uh, negative uh, 9.4. Cut you guys down even more so. Just more... I mean, we don't even need... Get, get rid of the artillery, actually, as well. We just want more rifle production. Importing... What do we need this for? I think we need it for the tanks? I see in a second, we're only going to be using one. Oh, no, we're importing... Yeah, we don't need this, actually. Yeah, we can save a factory off of you. The future in danger. The war situation is not necessarily developed to our advantage. The overwhelming firepower of the Russian offensive forces us out of our uh, defensive positions, with many major cities having fallen to the Russian bear. In a time where millions of Ukrainians now lay under occupation and our armed forces are underperformed, the blame is being cast on the ruling government. The opposition has become even more emboldened as a result, and popular opinion is seemingly becoming negative about the government's handling of the war. While our victory in, in due time will come, these developments will not bode well for our prospects in a post-war election. The patriotic Ukrainians under occupied Russian forces will certainly not remember kindly how we abandoned them. Ruin Polly will be guaranteed to lose the post war election. Okay, cool. Thank you guys. I, I appreciate that. No matter what, we'll now lose the election. I mean, that's, that's again, that's assuming that there is an election to actually have. Right? <laughs> so, who's going to win the election, do you think, next time? I wouldn't be surprised if it's a radical socialist. It also might very well be the uh, the conservatives here. Now, how, what is their um? Twenty-eight percent resistance strength. Our targets up to sixty-three. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight. When is when do the penalties actually begin? Um. Zoomy Federation penalties begin at. Doesn't actually say, unfortunately. Austria, I would really, really love it if you were to join the war effort and send troops to our front. Like, that would be, like, really, really... Because, like, Belarus... I'm surprised Belarus is even still fucking in this. I don't know how they've done it. Thing is, if Belarus collapses, or at the very least they get to border Poland, Ukraine... or Austria at that point should join the war... Which would be nice. Okay, partisan training is more support or better in marshes and forest. 240 free tanks. Which is fine. 10% more agility. Oslo program. I'm going to say probably a little bit too late on that one, huh? Shipyards. Oh, two, actually, there's some free military factories off of this. Okay. Let's get our air stuff going so we can get our free factories. I don't remember we built all these facts. I mean, maybe we should have only built the... Uh... Oh, shit. They actually crossed in, into our territory. Oh, this actually is really bad. Okay, tanks. I need... Let's get the heavy tanks here. I did not realize they actually crossed into... Uh, into our territory proper. Okay, Red Army, we're going to shrink you down by one. Oh, you aren't doing anything. Okay, go back to Green Army, please. This is bad. 
Cause this is real this is just an opening that they can do to get into our uh, territory. Get our tanks up north. Try to slow them down where we can. On a rush back with the Australian, sure why not? Okay, not you. Have all of you guys last stand. Move your way back and around. That wasn't supposed to be three divisions, but we'll fuck it, we'll take it for the time being. They are pushing their way to Kiev. I guess I wasn't paying too much attention up north. This is my bad. This really should not have happened this way. You're halfway dead now. Manpower. Okay, we actually we can go back to limit extensive conscription. So this shouldn't cause our manpower. Yes, to go back up. That is what we want to see. Okay, we're holding the line. What well, kind of? We've lost some territory. We're going to send you up to Red Army for now. Thank hey, 1,000 rifles. You know what? I do really appreciate that. Oh, shit. Okay, get back here, please. It's funny because Russia, like, they attack. They push our units out of position, and then they, like, don't actually take it right away. And I don't know why they don't. Bring you back into Red Army. I know you guys are very, very weak at the moment, but not too much we can do about that. We got our tanks, though. We'll write a little bit of hardness to um, to these battles. Yeah, move you guys forward ever so slightly. Because, again, the, the river was really holding them back, right? Because that is the negative 62%. Which is really, really, really nice to have. Move up here to reinforce. We're going to do a bit of a counterattack. Bring in the, the tank as well. Again, I don't think we're going to be doing too much here. 400 defense. Speed in combat with. They have 20% for air support. Lily. A new artistic endeavor has been sweeping the Ukrainian theater scene. As both patrons of the arts and creatives de uh, dedicate their efforts towards supporting the war against Russia. Lily is a dramatic and nationalist ballet with a libretto written by Vizhvod Chodvets, who has also organized the staging and riveting score composed by Konstantin da uh, Denkovich. The origin of the story is a pride from poems and ballads from the uh, August 19th by the August 19th century Ukrainian poet uh, Taras Sovchenko, particularly his collection The uh, Minstrel. Rather than a direct adaptation of any singular work, the play is a compilation of different parts of uh, Kovzar. Uh, meant to create a unified narrative. The opening performance was held at the National Opera in Ukraine, Kiev, telling the story of a young Ukrainian uh, peasant girl named uh, Lily, living in a uh, 19, eight, or 1820s Ukraine that is viciously oppressed by the Romanov dynasty, or the Muscovites, as the play calls them. She falls in love with a fellow peasant named Stefan, but uh, after petitioning the uh, cruel Muscovite prince who administers her village to uh, permission for uh, to marry, she finds herself an object of his perverse desires. When the prince attempts to kidnap Lily, she and Stefan are spirited away by their uh, fellow uh, villagers and end up separated along the way. Stefan is eventually captured by the prince's men and blinded, but remains undeterred by his mutilation. He takes up his uh, life in an errant minstrel, traveling uh, rallying people of Ukraine to his side through music. After reuniting with Lily, the two are once again set upon by the Muscovite prince. Uh, Lily takes a mortal blow meant for her lover. With her death, inspires Stefan and the Ukrainian peasants to rise up in rebellion and execute the prince. Whereafter, they promise to create a new nation on equal men, free of tyranny. The striking tale of oppression, martyrdom, and rebellion is being hailed as an allegory for Ukraine's long struggle against the Russian hegemony. I mean, that's nice. I mean, it's very possible that the um, Opera House right now is currently being bombed. But I, I believe in you guys. Okay, we're going to have you go here. Once again, we're going to have you do a last stand. We're not. We're never going to do last stands with the tanks for the obvious reason that we can't really replace those nearly as easily as we can with, say, um, the infantry. But we'll, we'll try our best, damn it. Hey, um, Ruthenia, Belarus. 25%. Thing is, like, we can't, like, we're, we're stretched thin as it is. We cannot really afford to have to defend anything else. Illness has collapsed. Okay, that's good. 
You're at eight. Okay. Congratulations. You are once again going to be last standing here. Lithuania has collapsed. Uh, why is it confirm in X6? I can't give Germany my points, right? Yeah, I mean, I can't do anything. If one, one of the biggest issues with the uh, player-led Peace Conferences mod is that... Um, unfortunately, I can't gift uh, points to anybody else. So we just have to confirm an exit and then do this manually. Which means going to you, going to um, country annexing. And do it like that. There we go. So, Ruthenia. Looks like you're in a, a, a bit of trouble at the moment. So now the, so here's the thing. Is Germany going to retreat back to um, France because of the decision we took? Or because now Germany is directly bordering the Russians, is that going to overwrite the AI? And now they're going to... Okay, it looks like it's going to overwrite the AI. And now they're going to be sending a lot of troops to the Eastern Front. That's good. I'm happy about that. Why well, say? Wait, what? What the hell is Russia doing? You know what? I mean, because Russia and Germany now directly border each other here. It's also fucking up with the, the Russian AI because it looks like they're actually like, pulling out of this area for some reason. I don't know why. I think they now see like, oh, we're bordering Germany. Germany is a bigger threat than Ukraine. So we've got to try doing our best here. I mean, we could try to counter and take back Crimea. Maybe. Put you back here. Put you back in the green. Why are you hanging out back here? Go to the front line, you asshole. <laughs> okay. You've been, uh, we've already used you. Have you last stand quickly. Again, if we can, like, take... A, if we can take the railroad, that will cut them off from supplies. It's going to be our first counterattack in months. But I think it's our best hope. Then reinforcements here. You guys are still holding on just fine. We'll take the railroad in just a minute. Again, I just want to take the railroad just so we can cut off supplies. If even just for a little bit... Send you over here. Have you to attack here. I understand the Russian tank is not going to be doing like that well, but we'll try our best. Belarus has collapsed. Excellent. And we have another crossing of the Dnieper. I need you dead. Austria. Okay, Austria's intervened. That's very good. Which means that Poland is now in the war as well. Which is also very good. Are you in the war directly? Poland's not. I'm more... like th Now this whole area is just exposed. Which I don't think I need to tell you is bad for us. Have you once again rejoined Teal? Poland is now in the war as well. And are you, where are you guys going to go? Are you going to go to our front? Yes. Yes, they are. And they've had, the Russians have actually abandoned this position. Okay, we need to. I don't know why you're over here, but we need to start making some moves. Okay? If, they, if they're going to push their way up towards the north, we have to push our way down towards the south. We don't really have much of a choice um, in the matter. They have 10 divisions here. We're going to capture this area. The guest worker program. Start for labor in the factories. The German Empire has unveiled a new program to raise production of military goods. Recruitment of our citizens. Among many programs, this guest worker from the German industry. This is the Firm der Sturberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberberber
you can hold position for the time being. Oh, it's 25. Wait, I didn't even realize it's been this long this whole episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, you're not enjoying something down. You want to see more, subscribe. Bye-bye.